Let's go! Let's plan a party. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it. You need to decide what food to serve, songs to play, and who to invite. When you're planning something like this, how do you keep track of everything you need? You might group all these items into lists. Grocery list, playlist, guest list. All of these lists help you keep related information together and organized. Of course, we use lists every day, not just when we're planning a party. They can help us decide what's most important and think about the big picture. Lists are helpful for keeping code organized too. In JavaScript, a list is called an array. You can store related pieces of data together in one place within a program. So why is this important? Remember, in coding, a variable is useful for storing a single value that can change. But as we collect more information, keeping variables organized can be tricky. For example, let's say you want to create a program to keep track of the names of all your party guests. For the first friend, you could create a variable and store their name as a string, like this. And for a few names, this is no big deal. But what if you wanted to invite everyone in your class, or school? Do you even know how many people go to your school? It would be really hard to keep track of so many variables, especially if you don't know the number of names ahead of time. Instead, use an array. An array is like a container that keeps similar things together in a single ordered list. The container can grow or shrink to fit the number of items inside. In other words, it's just a variable that can store multiple values. Just like you can assign a single value to a variable, you can store an entire array of values in a variable too. This list is only four items long, but in code it could be hundreds or thousands of values. In JavaScript, an array looks like this. Values separated by commas and stored in brackets. These are all strings, but an array can also store integers, or both. Let's see what arrays look like in Codable. The last time we checked in with the Fuzz family, they had just used their knowledge of integers to destroy the numbered asteroid field. But now they've run into asteroids that have two different types of values, strings and integers. The Fuzz family is so close to escaping the asteroid field. Here's how you can help. These green bins are an array. This is where you will store an ordered list of fuzzball values. Start by looking at the values of the asteroids. I see string value yellow, integer value two, and string value red. Choose the matching colored and numbered fuzzballs to store in your list. Order matters. The fuzzball you store in the first spot in the array will blast first. Tap the fuzzballs to load the array, and then tap to aim. If the fuzzball meets with an asteroid of equal value, they will clear. Uh-oh, now I need a fuzzball with a value of two, but the one stored next in my array is red. It looks like I stored the values in the wrong order, but that's okay. Variables can change, and I can switch the order of the values in the array. Like this. Let's try again. When the order of the fuzzball values stored in the array is correct, we can blast them one by one at the asteroids and clear a path for the fuzzes. Happy coding! Let's go!